One propulsion is nominal. Falcon is now supersonic. As you just heard, Falcon 9 is traveling faster than the speed of sound. Max Q. And there's the call out that Falcon 9 has reached Max Q, the maximum dynamic pressure that the vehicle will feel during flight. MVAC engine chill has started. We're under a minute until main engine cutoff, stage separation, and second engine start. We just heard the call out that MVAC chill has begun. The vehicle is flowing a little bit of that super chilled liquid oxygen into the turbo pumps on the second stage engine in preparation for its ignition. Main engine cut off. Stage separation confirmed. MVAC ignition. Bearing separation confirmed. And there you can see that those fairings have deployed and the grid fins have also just deployed there on the first stage on the left-hand side of your screen. Today marks the third flight for both of those fairing halves, and we will be attempting to recover them once they fall back to Earth with the help of our recovery vessel, NRC Quest. The western coast of California just coming out of view on the left-hand side of your screen uh, with those city, light, uh, city lights in the background. As you can see by the telemetry at the bottom of your screen, the first stage is still... Stage two is on a nominal trajectory. The first stage is still increasing in altitude just a little bit. Uh, so even though it has already separated from the second stage, it still has a little bit of an upward journey before it reaches its apex or apogee, and at which point in time it will then begin to return to Earth for its landing on our drone ship, Of Course I Still Love You. As a reminder, today's payload is for SpaceX's satellite internet constellation, Starlink. We can now see from the telemetry at the bottom left-hand side of your screen that that first stage is now making its way back towards Earth.
We are about 30 seconds away from entry burn on the first stage. Everything continues to look nominal with the first and second stage. Stage one, FTS has saved. Stage one, at your burn startup. As you can see there, stage one has ignited three engines to slow it down for atmospheric reentry. This burn should last about 20 seconds. We have reignited two of the stage radial engines and the center engine, as you just saw there, that has concluded. Falcon 9 is using its onboard computers to guide itself autonomously back to or down to the drone ship, which is parked in the Pacific Ocean, a couple hundred miles off the coast of California. We're less than one minute away from landing burn of the first stage. Stage one transonic. As you just heard, stage one is traveling near the speed of sound. Stage two, FTS has saved. Stage one, landing burn. There you can see stage one has lit one engine, the center engine, to prepare for landing on our drone ship. Stage we two, can start to see in the background here. Stage one, landing light deploy. Stage one, landing is confirmed. All right, and as you can see there, Falcon 9 has landed. This marks SpaceX's 58th first stage landing on our drone ship, Of Course I Still Love You, and our 39th launch of this year. Expected loss of signal, Cook and Vanmoor. And back shut down. nominal orbit insertion. And as you just heard there, we had a good second engine cutoff as well as a good orbit. At this point in time, stage two is now carrying 46 Starlink satellites into low Earth orbit. With that confirmation of SECO-1, we'll wrap up tonight's webcast. Be sure to check SpaceX social media for confirmation of Starlink deploy. As always, thank you for watching and we'll see you again real soon.